Well, I'm all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Whatever we do, we will be alright These holiday wonders will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true The love I live, the dream I knew This Christmas I only wanna be close to you need to take this back to the post office because I didn't do it yesterday so we're gonna run up to the post office real quick and then I want to go home and eat and then I want to go to the 99 cent store because my co-worker said my my desk is not giving <laughs> she says not giving so I'm going to go to the 99 cent store and see if I can find a couple of more little trinkets or things for my desk Christmas stuff and then we'll come back to work but how y'all doing today um it's hot out here sheesh like when are we gonna get the fall weather so um I still need to I still need to tell you guys the uh, crew, not the Christmas, I keep saying the Christmas story. The Thanksgiving story. So, after I go to the post office, I'll tell y'all because I'm on the post office right here. And, matter of fact, I'll just tell you right now. I'll just start. So, pretty much, right? Secondly, I need to put some, I didn't put no product on this here. You see this? Oh, I can't be looking like this. On these streets. Um... Oh, what we doing here? If you don't turn the corner. Okay. So, for Thanksgiving, like I told you guys, I went to Vegas. Okay, I went Wednesday. I came back Friday. I rented a car. Picked it up Wednesday to return Saturday. Okay? I did return the car Saturday. Went on Enterprise. The cars was $1,000 a day. I'm exaggerating, but you see what I'm saying? It was as high as hell, like a hundred and some dollars a day for the little for the little bitty cars. I'm like, what? But anyway, so somebody told me about Turo. So I go on Turo. I rent a car, right? Okay. Um, the first car I rent the day before the guy says that his check engine light is on. So turn it on. So I go ahead and scramble to find a new car. A different car. What are you looking at? Anyway, um, I don't, ugh. anyway, so I get the car, well, okay, so I find another car, and if you don't know what Turo, Turo, Turo is when people rent out their own vehicles for you to drive, okay, it's way cheaper than Enterprise, Hertz, or any other than places that people rent cars from, this was like $60 a day, okay, and because I rented it for like three days, I got a discount for like $20, okay, so I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, hey, I'm on, 
so um, I rent a car. It was like a 2021 Mazda something or other. I'm not familiar with cars. It looked nice. It was new. I ran it. I pick it up and it was close to my mom's house so I had to go get her and we headed off to Vegas, okay? So me and my son, he drove me over there. We drove back. He left his car at my mom's house, okay? Get in the car, I'm like, oh, side note, the car makes me want to get a brand new car because it was brand new, had the brand new smell. It had all the bells and whistles. It does a lot of stuff. This car don't do. <laughs> that car does a lot of things that this car does not do because it was a brand new car. So, pick up the car, go get my mom. We load up, all of us load up in the thing. Okay. Um, get back. Okay, I'm trying not to get hit by the bus. I'm trying to get around the bus. Pray for the homeless community. Where I work, it's a lot of homeless. And I'm like, does the state of California not care? The homeless are is a lot, y'all, in this area. Anyway. their parking so I get the car we, we we get on the freeway it is windy this day we get on the freeway and this freeway that I get on is the 15 going I guess north is a lot of diesels are you going to close your door you're gonna leave it open for 10 hours God dang. so it's a lot of wind we get on the freeway it's a lot of diesels a lot of 18 wheelers Soon as I get on the freeway, cause you know you get in. Wait, hold on, y'all. I'll be right back. We back. Okay, we back. So that was a that was a bust. So I get all the way to the line to the front, and <laughs> I ask the lady, "Is this the type of mailer that I would put the thing in for this?" And she's like, "Yes, but." And then she starts giggling. I'm like, "But what?" She was like, that's UPS. I said, oh. wrong place, wrong place. But it's a UPS right across the street from the house, so I'll go there tomorrow. I ain't, I ain't wasting the time. Oh, anyway, back to the story. Tear up a little. So, we were, where was I at? On the, I get on the freeway, okay. What the hell is going on here? Why people honking? I didn't do anything wrong. Anyway, I think that car was hooking at that car. Let try back out. Anyway, so what happened? Oh, so I get on the freeway. You know how you merge onto the freeway. Okay, so you know you merge into the freeway and it's going to merge into this lane, right? Okay, I got to go. I'm, not, I'm just going to go. So I'm getting on the freeway. This is the lane I'm merging into. It's a lot of diesels in that lane. So I'm merging into that lane so I can merge into lane two, so I can merge into the fast lane, so I can keep pushing. I swear to you guys, as soon as I merge into this lane, I get behind the diesel. Mind you, it's windy. The diesel runs over a wooden box. A wooden box, not a cardboard, a wooden box. So the wooden box disintegrates and half of it goes under the car, the other board, goes on top of the car, on top of the hood. It's, it like hits it, and then it hits the top. Now, I'm like, see, I don't need this. So my mom and my brother, my um, son were cracking up. Like, so I'm like, I don't need this, it's not, it's just not my car. So, let's back up though. When I got the car, when I booked Turo, it asked if you want insurance. Now, when I get rentals, I never get insurance. Because I have full coverage on my car, and I have insurance that's gonna cover it, right? But then I was reading something after the fact um, that says that your insurance might not cover Turo because it's not a rental. It's like you're getting somebody else's car. Okay, so I stopped halfway at a rest stop. Ciao. Ciao. Why that board scratched the hood like a scratch? Like took off the first coat of the paint, like a clear coat. Scratch the hood, scratch the, the hood, scratch the roof, and put a small dent in the hood. I said I don't need this in my life. I do not need this. 
So my mom's like, don't worry about it. Cause I'm like doing this with it with my hands. She was like, leave it alone. You might make it worse. She was like, okay, my cousin that was gonna be at Thanksgiving. She said he details cars. Let's let's ask him to look at it. Okay. So the whole the whole three days I was there, my nerves were shot. Like I couldn't even really enjoy myself, even though I had a good time with my family. But I kept thinking it was like in the back of my mind, like the whole time. Like I was dreaming about this. Like, what am I gonna do? Like, am I gonna tell the owner? Like, what am I gonna do? Cause it was that scratched up, y'all. It was that scratched up. And I was thinking, because I had started Googling. Like, what if you didn't get the insurance? And then people were saying that you know your insurance may not cover that car and you might have to pay out a pile I'm like oh my gosh stressed stressed out so we go the weekend my cousin looks at it before I leave right that morning on Friday morning because we left Friday morning he starts buffing it with some stuff back up when we, when we got to Vegas on Wednesday I went to Walmart. I was like, I'm about to be a dang on car detailer myself. I'm about to get some stuff. So I got microfiber cloths and I got like some wax, right? That you put on the car and you buff out. So he looks at it, but he sprays his own stuff on there. He was like, that gotta be buffed out with a with a with an electric buffer. Like you can't get this out with your hands. You're gonna have to get an electric buffer. He was like, I don't have one here. I'm like, do car detailing places have it? Like, do I have time to get it detailed and make a buff it out? He was like, I don't know. You like he like, I don't know. So I'm like, okay, listen, we're about to go home. I'm gonna figure it out. So, when I picked up the car, it was clean on the inside, but it was dusty. It was like, you know how you leave a car outside and it just, it'd be clean, but it's dusty. It was that. So, at this point, I done rubbed a clean spot in the roof and at the, um, at the roof and in the hood. So, it's a clean spot on both. So, I bring it home. I rinse it down with the water hose. And I'm wiping it. Okay? So, I'm like, I can still see it. Now, at this time, it's dark because it gets dark so early it was dark so i take my stuff that i bought this is not come on. i take my stuff that i bought y'all i was out there in that front yard to about 11 8 11 p.m um putting that some that stuff on there buffing it out like being so careful buffing it buffing it actually the one on the roof you couldn't even see anymore and it was the car was kind of too tall for me to really even like see but i was more concerned with that one on the hood not only because oh let's back up when he lifted the hood because he was like well we can't get the scrape out let's get the dent out we lift the hood the hood got a cover on the hood like it ain't no like my hood you can lift it and it's a hood you know it has a thing but it's a hood this hood had like a cover on top of it so we couldn't even get to the den i'm like oh my gosh like no so i'm thinking to myself if i can at least get this if i can at least get these scratches out i'll worry about the den later i don't know we gonna we gonna work it out so i I do as much as I can. I'm like still stressed out. So I'm like, listen, I'm about to go to bed. Like, it is what it is. I'm praying like, God, please, please, please. Wake up the next morning. I have to drop the car off at nine. So I'm telling my family when, over Thanksgiving and they was like, just drop that car off. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Just drop it off. And I was like, but what, but what, but what, what do you mean? <laughs> but what, but what? So when you ex when you give the car back, you have to do like an exit interview or whatever. You have to take pictures before when you get the car. You got to take pictures when you drop the car off, right? So I take the pictures. I take them so strategically, y'all. I take the pictures. The ones that I put in before, you can delete them. So I deleted some pictures that were like on the on that part where the listen. The, listen, I have morals and values, you guys, but don't judge me. This is just what I had to do. Cause I was like, I don't want to pay out of pocket. Like I'll pay to get your car detailed, but I don't like other than that, sir, I ain't got it. So, right. Okay. I take the picture so strategically that you can see all parts of the car, except that one, that corner over there. Cause it happened in the corner. I'm like, okay. So, um, Saturday morning, I wake my son up. I'm like, let's go drop this car off and head on out. I had to drop it off at 9. I was like, let's drop it off at 7 before people even wake up. Let's go. Because it was a drop box in front of the guy's house. I just drop it in a drop box and lock it back. We we out and about. I went to Trader Joe's. 
I look at my email and he messaged me. And I was like, oh Lord. Because you have to ask, answer the questions. It asks you, was there any damage on the car? And I was like, mm -hmm, no. So he messaged me. He's like, hey, did something drop on the car? And I'm like, you know what? Let me be honest with him. Let me be honest. So I tell him, I said, you know, on Wednesday it was windy. And I told him what freeway I got on. And I said, as soon as I, I, and it literally happened as soon as I got on the freeway. As soon as. I was like, I don't need to in my life. But I told him, I said, as soon as I got on the freeway, a big rig ran a box over and it flew onto the car. I said, but I did not notice any damage. I didn't see any damage because it didn't hit that hard. It didn't hit that hard where it would, where I would think it would cause any damage, right? And he was like, oh, okay, it was windy. He was like, I understand it's not even your fault. Things like that happen. I was like, thank you, God. Thank you, God, because... I was like, okay, how much a car detail costs? What, three, five? I don't know. I need to get my own car detail. I ain't never got a detail, but how much those things cost? I don't know. But I'm like, man, like, what if, what if it costs like more than what I'm thinking it's gonna cost? Child, I was stressed out. But when he said it's okay, he was like, I was just trying to make sure nobody here messed with my car because I, I didn't see anything fall on the car or anything. As I guess he got cameras in front of his house. It's like, I didn't see anything fall on, on the car. He was like, but no, don't even worry about that. He was like, it's not your fault. Because that's a, I was like, this is a brand new car. It still had the paper plates. It still had the paper thing in the window. You know, when you go get a car, they put that paper in that plastic, like tape it with that plat. It still had that. It still had that. And Anitra, well, the diesel in front of me. And I was like, but if I would have drove my car, nothing like that would have happened. I, that's just how things work. But I'm about to go in this house because I'm hungry and I want to get me some. I'm going to get some turkey bacon. I'm going to buy some, some eggs. But I got a package. All my little stuff I bought like Black Friday. And I guess, who did I buy this? Cyber? No, I bought this Black Friday. No, I bought this Cyber Monday. Today, this came quick. So all my stuff that I bought Black Friday and Cyber Monday are starting to come in. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Remember I just said that my glasses, like all my glasses are just lost or broken. So I picked up some more of these. I don't know if they're called Quay or Way or some more of these. Um, Cause I have a pair, but my son somehow lost them. I don't, see that's why you don't let people use your stuff. Okay, that's why people, you don't let people use your stuff. So I got two pair because they were buy one, get one free. So you know, I was like, wait, hey. So I got two pair and I bought them so quick. I was just like, oh, I like these, I like these. Let's see. Oh, they packaged them, these totally different from my last ones. Okay, let's see. I'm baking the burn. Let's see if these are looking like so. Here they are. I think it smells so good. Ooh, oh, I like these. Ooh, I like these a lot. These remind me. I call I call aviators Michael Jackson glasses because these kind of glasses remind me of Michael Jackson. So I call them Michael Jackson glasses. With this um this cleaner thing in the bottom. Well, these are cute, real cute. Let me look in the mirror and these. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I like these. Look at this hair. I'm about to put some moisturizer on it because I don't know what in the world happened today. Um, These glasses. It is so hot. I had to turn the air on. It was so hot. It's so hot in here. Second pair I got. comes with this little um, insert too. These are the same. It comes with this as well. Um, and then, I don't even remember what kind these are. I think they're kind of both the same, to be totally honest. But I don't care because I like the Michael Jackson glasses. They were two different kinds, but I don't remember... Oh, these are big. Oh, these look good. 
See, if I take care of these, I don't have to buy sunglasses for a long time. These are like big. I love it. This one don't even, oh, the other ones were polarized. I don't know what that means. But anyway, those are what I got from Quay or Way or we or whatever you want to call them. I don't know what it's called. So I got those. I wish I could find my other ones because I love those glasses too. But they're lost. They are long gone. So, got those. I love it. I'm about to make a real quick basic keto lunch. And I'm gonna put some moisturizer on this hair because this looks like wild woman and I don't like that. So what that LBC like? Okay, so here's my lunch. This is two eggs cooked in a tablespoon of butter with one ounce of Parmesan cheese cooked into it for slices of turkey bacon. So. This is what I'm having for lunch, and I'm about to scarf it down so I can head on back Going to work. Into the 99 cent only store where things are still a dollar. Most things. Most. I don't see anything. It looks like it was already ramped. I don't need any more garland stuff. Maybe they're not done decorating the shelves. Oh, that's cute, but that's not dollar. That's $5.99, but it's cute, isn't it? I keep looking at it. It don't match anything in my house, so I'm not getting that, but it's cute. still putting things out with all these boxes. So, yeah, they really are. See, I like these right here. They're cute. I don't need any more Christmas trees. Actually, I don't need nothing. I was about to cuss. I'm trying to stop. What is, why do they got these boxes in the way? What the hell? I don't look like I'm going to have any luck here. Dollar Tree, I mean, the 99 cent store is not giving. I have stuff like this, but I got them from Walmart. This is a bunk mission. Bunk mission. They don't even have the chair covers. I was gonna get one for my chair. They don't even have batteries. Who's using these batteries? Those big old gigantic ones. What is going on with the 99 cent store? <sighs> okay, guys, okay, so that was a bunk mission. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go across the street. I need to get some gas. I'm going across the street to Starbucks, get me a drink. <laughs> then I'm gonna go back to work. Um, so next week when I go back to the office, I'm going to take double A batteries and then I'll show you guys my tree and stuff because it's not lit up because there's no batteries and the 99 cent store didn't have any. There's a dollar tree right here, but it's hot. It's how much is, what is the green today? And you see what shirt I have on. I just want to leave. It's 86 degrees right now. 
crazy. Um, so I'll have double A batteries and all the stuff so I can um, show you guys my tree and my other bells that light up. But I'm gonna go, go across the street, get a Starbucks, then we're gonna end today's video. But let me go on to my own, my keto Starbucks Instagram page that I like to follow and okay <laughs> like keep texting me on my keto Instagram page that I like to follow and find me like a refresher um, on my keto Starbucks keto Starbucks here we go keto at Starbucks if you guys do keto do you follow keto at Starbucks or it's called keto Starbucks drinks let's find a refresher like a, a good drink yeah. they said they identified the first person with the Omni Con when you download the free out here, here in Southern app, California no 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 in the Bay Area all your favorite music now I got questions I got lots of questions <sighs> they said the person traveled to South Africa and then returned home early. I don't know where they said that, what the point of that was. But, wow. Okay, let's see if I can order my drink. I don't ever order my drinks through, like, these complicated drinks through the drive-thru. I always, like, try to order it on the app. But a lot of the drinks on here, you have to order at the um, window. So let's see if it works. I need to get gas. Okay, hold on. Let me... Let me, hold on, let's see what she says. I need to be putting money on my Starbucks card, hold on. Wait, do I have money on my Starbucks card? Oh, I do. Not that much, let me ask. Y'all, sometimes my face ID on my phone does not work. It literally will say that I, it won't let me in unless I put the password. Hello, welcome to Starbucks. My name is Nanako. What can I get started for you? Hi, can I get a venti iced passion tangle tea with light ice? Yes, just one more. Uh-huh. Okay, thank you. cream cold food that sounds good I'm turn this air off I'm talking about I need gas sorry what was that that was a <laughs> you need me to say that again oh yes sorry I couldn't hear you okay that was a venti iced passion tangle tea with light ice you said a venti iced passion tangle tea with light ice okay. yes with four pumps of sugar free vanilla four pumps of sugar free and can I have cold foam on top but made with non-fat milk and sugar free vanilla Made with non-fat milk. Okay. And the sugar. You guys sweeten that? Can you sweeten it with sugar-free vanilla, the cold foam? Uh, and the cold foam? Yes, please. So the cold foam, it comes with the vanilla. I can add um, some sugar-free inside there for you. Yeah, I don't want it to be regular sugar, though. I don't want it to be the regular. Oh, no, it won't be, it won't be the sugar particles. It's the actual pumps of the... The sugar-free kind. Wait, wait, kind. she wanted it non-fat milk, but made with... Sugar-free. Okay. That's it. Alright, your total is going to be 425 at the next window. Thank you. My pleasure. Did y'all hear that? She said she couldn't hear me the first time. No, ma'am, you heard me. And then you told me to hold on. Let's see. Anitra of yesterday is gone. Okay, Anitra of yesterday is gone, so I'm not going to say nothing. What's it called? Yesteryear? Yesterday? What? That person's gone. I'm trying to suppress her, y'all, because I'm getting old, and I can't be acting that up with these people. <laughs> I can't be doing it, because I am about customer service. Customer service is like, if it ain't right, I'm going to tell you. But I'm trying to just leave it be. I'm going to leave it be, okay? 
I know them people at work like, where's she at? Mine in my business. That's weird. Listen, I was on, on my Instagram yesterday and I was literally saying, I am tired of working. But check this, I don't wanna even work for myself. I don't wanna work for anybody and I don't wanna work for myself. I wanna chill all day and do what I wanna do. But I have work ethic and I know I'll be bored out my mind. So I was just talking, I think I was just annoyed yesterday. Y'all saw the annoyance that I had yesterday morning. Y'all saw that. I put some, um, I need to get some more um, leave-in conditioner. That's what I was putting on it before, but it, I ran out. So now it's just like, mm. Lodi at the Vinci Ice Fashion Tea, four pumps of sugar-free, but non-fat milk, and light ice and vanilla sweet cream cocoa. Yes. So I was trying to tell you, so our vanilla sweet cream cocoa already comes with the vanilla. So I can make your drink with sugar-free vanilla pumps, but the cold foam actually already comes with vanilla. But I, when you make the cold foam, don't you, don't you make it with the non-fat milk? Um, That's why I'm confused. Cause I have regular vanilla sweet cream cold foam. Did you want like regular cold foam? Yeah, because yeah. I don't want it. Just don't make it sweetened yeah. if that's what the case. Yeah, what type of cold foam? Like, what type of milk would you like me to use? Loose non-fat. Non-fat milk? Yeah. And uh -huh. do you want me to put sugar-free vanilla syrup Please, in it? Please, that's what I was asking oh, okay, for. Oh, okay, okay. That's what I wanted. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I think I asked for it before. I, I like that um, apron. Is that before Christmas? Or yes. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I think it went. Oh, it did, it did. Hold on. There we go. All right, would you like your receipt? No, I'm good. Yeah, I'll let thank you know you. Okay, thank you. Let me see. When you start acting nice in each row, you get the things that you want. Okay. I look like dark winged duck. Or shaft. Um, so she was talking um, to me and then the person that making it came from behind from wherever she was about to make it and <laughs> that's what y'all heard. Yeah, so thank you. Made out of non -fat milk. I appreciate it. Sugar -free vanilla syrup. Yes. Okay. Thank Have you so day. much. You too. It's so pretty. Look you guys. It's so pretty. Oh, and it's good. She did that. Thank you. Thank you, girl. Now, let me park. No, I don't need to park. I just need to go. Let me go out this way because this street right here is dangerous because the people can't drive. Y'all know how I feel about bad drivers. So, let's taste it and then we will. I will let you know what it's giving. Oh, I'm like, what's that smell? It's perfect. It's like just sweet enough that's good so you guys order that if you're interested there you go okay guys so I'm gonna let you go I'm gonna let y'all go so I can go back to work and, and get and earn my paycheck so if you're new here and you enjoy the video go ahead and subscribe if you're returning hey y'all how y'all doing say hey i know i always say hey back i always engage with you guys so um, yeah i will talk to you guys very very soon one of them babies sexy as hell i said ooh, i like your size she said my car's broke down and just sing real nice with you